Hey YouTube, it's Nicole McKinney back at you again with another episode here from Power BI Consulting Services, aka BI Consulting Services. Uh, I'm doing this session a couple of ways, a little bit different. Um, I do have my re video recording going. I also have my podcast on, my podcasting equipment around me, and I'm sharing my screen. So normally when I do these, no camera, uh, but I'm trying to do sort of a more interactive session with you guys. So I'll turn my camera on a bit more often uh, than I have previously, but I'm excited to be here with you today. And this content is entirely different than some of the content we've done before together. So this is all around chat G P. I've just been mind blown by this platform. I'm sure you guys are starting to hear a lot more about it. Uh, I am very excited about what this can do for, for people. Just generally, it gives you the access to content and information at a level I never thought possible. And so today's session, we're actually going to do some R coding using chat GPT. And all this, I'm going to kind of use a, a replica of something I've already developed. So kind of been doing some trial and error with this platform over the weekend to get it to prepare for this uh, video and hopefully you find this useful but it's a great tool um, you don't and I have a team just to kind of level set you know here at BI Consulting Services we do a lot um, dashboard development custom visualization development AI machine learning advanced analytics database management we're sort of in that purview and we bring you guys a lot of content on BI platforms specifically Power BI so today very first session I do on camera I'm taking you out of Power BI but I had to spend some time on this and many of you guys may know that Microsoft is actually starting to spend billions of dollars in investing in this chat GPT platform. And I just really enjoy it. So we're going to go out right now. I've actually gotten into the system. There's a little bit of a login process. And keep in mind, this error message is one I get all the time. Uh, this is a platform that a lot of people use. And for that very reason, it's always at capacity. <laughs> People love this thing, but we're going to just go out here. I don't write custom R code for our team. There are people on my team who do a lot of custom development, R development, and write with this coding language. I'm not one of them. So I'm just going to come out here really quickly and say, I want to write code and I want to have pretty cool visuals to go along with it. Let's see what chat GPT can do. This tool, literally you ask it any question and it gives you some examples here and it does give you some disclaimers. Um, so it may occasionally um, generate incorrect information and we'll see if it does that for me here. I've actually gotten a lot of error messages and kind of going through this process, but this platform, this AI tool is so smart that when you start plugging in the error message, it fixes it for you. So it's pretty darn cool. Um, but there are some disclaimers out here to be considerate of, uh, of use. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just get started. I'm going to do this all around R. Uh, so I'm going to keep it fairly simple, but I just want to do some bar charts, maybe a line graph, maybe some regression. And I just want to show you what this tool can do. So let's go ahead and just jump in. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and go out to this website and sign up for this platform. I think you can use this for so many different things. You can use it for setting up or going and solving problems for you in Power Query when you're setting up your DAX calculations, all sorts of things. So go ahead and you know download it, take a look at it, um, or, or sign in. You don't download it, but go ahead and take a look at this tool if you hadn't already. It is beyond cool, uh, and I've actually became just a huge fan, and so had to spend some time with you guys today and take you through it. So let's start with something simple. Let's just say let's or build out a R script for sales data in a bar chart over 12 months using just, you know, dummy data. So right now the system's just kind of thinking about, okay, what are you really asking us for here? And then it's going to start to go through sort of what the code will look like for you uh, in this particular example. And we're going to take this example here in just a moment, and we're going to copy it into our R shiny environment and see what pops out. Okay, so the code's ready. It's gonna give you a little bit of details, maybe a disclaimer or two, but we're, we're good to go ahead and drop it over here. So let's drop it in here and press enter. It's gonna go ahead and download any packages if you're familiar with anything to do with sort of R Shiny and uh, this post, post it cloud, then you'll, you'll know it's gonna take you through and get all the content. So here we go on this far right-hand side, we have officially created code 
that it's giving us 12 months of sales data in R. So if we wanted to take that code, all we would literally do is take this code and we can put it anywhere we want. Uh, let's go a step further. Let's say, can the bar chart be red? And the system automatically says, sure, it can be red. And it's going to rewrite this code for us and put it such that it is red. So we'll grab this and see what it does. Uh, I'm curious to see what happens. So we'll drop this in. And now you can see it's taken this code and automatically changed it to the color red. So let's go a step further. Let's just do one more thing with this. Let's say, okay, now can I get an average line for, let's look at some of the data. So we're just asking for it to drop in an average line for this data too. Let's see what we get. All right, and you can officially see that average line, which is clearly wrong. I could have just said, you know, add an average line to the sales chart. Let me just show you really quick what that would look like, just so you kind of got context. So I'm going to go back to my go back to my original question and just say, can you do a sales bar chart with an average line using our code? And it's going to go back through and recreate this entire um, subset of code for us and include the average line along with it. And the real cool thing that you'll notice here is that everything I've told this bot so far, I mean, this is just, I mean, this system is, is amazing. <laughs> um, it's got a lot of disclaimers associated with it. I love it. But everything that I've told it so far, it's still recognizing, it's still remembering. And to me, that is one of the most, one of the coolest components of this entire thing. So I'm going to drop this code in again. And now you can see sort of the official, well, it's doing some package downloads for us. So it kind of wiped out my code. But here we go. Um, a little bit blurry on my screen at the moment, but you, you get the idea. It's basically went and given us an official average line in essence, and it still has the 12 months. This is just one example. I literally went through here and said, can we create a regression analysis? And so it's just going to run through the code or the details of what that is and then give you sample code that you can put in that will show you just a simple linear regression or regression model inside of R. So if you copy that code, and this will be the last example in this video, but I plan on doing a ton of these. I've been playing around with this platform for a little while. Let's see. and didn't like something. Let's go back. Oh, maybe it wants one more paste. Let's go down. Perfect. So literally these two subsets of code have now gotten us a pretty messy linear regression, but you get the idea. You can literally write R code, Python scripting. You can ask it anything, and it's going to start spitting out responses. And then if it gives you an error, you can drop that response into the tool. It recognizes the error and gives you additional feedback to resolve your problem. I am in love with this tool. If you haven't had a chance yet, go out to the chat.openai.com. I think you have to go through a sign-up process, make sure you're a human, and then you can get into this tool, and it has done, and it does do some of the coolest things. I mean, you can literally ask it endless questions. It's going to come up with solutions and answers for you. I hope you found this useful. I know I have, and I look forward to talking to you guys in our next episode. By the way, subscribe to the channel. If you like camera on, let me know. I'm pretty flexible. I do a lot of other content on YouTube with my camera on. So 
Feedback is always welcome. Continue to watch all the content. We're going to start feeding you guys more and more information. Uh, Look forward to the next one.